Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on Polygon Matic whose current price stands at the 0.8126 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is up by 3.31% and in this video I want to give the key scenarios that I expect to play out basing my analysis on the Elliott waves and the Fibonacci's and also the key areas of support and resistances so if you're interested in such content make sure that you stick around till the end of the video I'll kickstart the video by giving a brief of what has been happening on this chart Polygon Matic from the all time high has been seeing lower prices in this massive ABC correction which I believe it has done the minimum that we expected it to do in its ABC correction and soon we might see a very nice bounce to the upside in this Elliott wave structure having a wave 5 taking us back to an all time high but before we see an all time high we first we first need to see a first wave to the upside which I have a target area here on the charts within this yellow target area between the $1.91 mark and the $1.62 mark which I'm basing it on the Fibonacci's so if I use the Fibs connecting the low down here to the all time high you can see my yellow target area lies between the Fib level 0.618 and the Fib level 0.5 which is the minimum that I expect that first wave to the upside to do and in this video I want to give the key scenarios that I expect basing my analysis on the Elliott waves and within a wave 1 we also need to see a fractal wave in formation and I believe that is what has been forming here on the charts so if I jump to the 4 hour chart for further analysis within this first wave to the upside we are seeing a very nice bounce to the upside in the formation of a fractal wave in which I believe once I see the formation of a wave 5 that will have completed a higher Elliott wave count 1. If I get a little bit into the details of those fractal waves here on the charts after making our high at around the 0.063 dollar mark for that first wave to the up upside we saw a very nice retracement to the lower side in the formation of a wave 2 and using the Fibonacci's we can get a target area here on the charts for that second wave or get to see whether it has done the minimum that we expect a wave 2 to do you can see we retraced into the area between the fib level 0.618 and the maximum of the fib level 0.382 we overshooted the fib level 0.382 then we saw a very nice bounce to the upside in the formation of a wave 3 and I had a target area here on the charts for that third wave to the upside within this yellow target area at around the 0.93 dollar mark and that I was basing it on the trend based Fibonacci's so if I use the trend based Fibonacci connecting the low of the wave 1 to the high of the wave 1 then dragging the Fibs that gives me the minimum target area for that third wave to the upside at around the 0.94 dollar mark which is a target area that we have maximized here on the charts we even overshooted it a little bit and we have continued pushing higher managed to break above a key area of resistance at around the 0.95 dollar mark initially here on the charts i had this high that we have over here as the high of that third wave to the upside but we invalidated that high and made a new high at around the zero point at around the 1.05 dollar mark and having done that I had to adjust my Elliott wave count having the new high as the high of that third wave to the upside then whatever we are seeing here is a retracement to the lower side in the formation of a wave 4 then once you see the completion of the formation of a wave 4 I expect us to continue pushing higher to complete a higher Elliott wave count 1 and if I get a little bit into the formation of a wave 4 a wave 4 is a retracement of the third wave so using the Fibonacci's we can get a target area here on the charts for that fourth wave by connecting the fibs from the low of the wave 3 to the high of the wave 3 that gives us a minimum target area here on the charts for that third wave to the upside between the fib level 0.618 and the fib level 0.382 as a maximum I can have that target area here on the charts for that fourth wave to the lower side and this is what is going to give me the key scenarios that I expect to play out here on this chart you can see the price of Polygon Matic has respected that move to the lower side and we have come down into our yellow target area for that fourth wave and we are seeing a bit of a bounce to the upside because within this target area we have a key area of support at around the 0.78 dollar mark which has given us support and we are seeing a very nice bounce to the upside so it's possible that whatever we are seeing here is just a short term bullish movement to the upside and soon we might see a bearish movement to the lower side to maximize our yellow target area so 
that gives me the key scenarios that I expect to play out on these charts. Within our wave 4, because our wave 4 is a corrective wave, whatever we could be seeing here, this could be just a... It's possible that this is just a wave A, then we might see a wave B, then continue pushing her to maximize our yellow target down here within our wave C. So it's possible that now that you have found support at around the $0.78 mark, we are going to see a retest of that key area of resistance, of support, push a little bit higher, and once we see the formation of our wave B, then we can continue unlocking lower prices, lose our key area of support at around the $0.78 mark, and once that happens, we can continue seeing lower prices to maximize our yellow target down here, and that could take us back to around the $0.67 mark, and it's possible that Polygonmatic can invalidate this ADO2 wave structure, and for that to happen, I would expect us to go to around the $0.62 mark. So in case we continue seeing lower prices and get to around the $0.62 mark, this ADO2 wave structure here on the charts will be invalidated because our wave 4 should not retrace into the area of that high of that first wave to the upside. So if we get to around the $0.62 mark, that will be invalidating my ADO2 wave structure here on the charts. So the key movement that I expect here on the polygonmatic chart is that we are going to see a very nice recovery to the upside, make a high over here, and that will be the high for that wave B, then continue pushing to the lower side, lose our key area of support at around the $0.78 mark to maximize our yellow target here, and once you see the low for that wave 4, then we can start sketching out a wave 5 to the upside, and if I also take a look at the indicators to see whether those movements here on the RSI will be supported, on the RSI we are trading at around the 42 mark, and that means we have massive room for us to support any movement to the upside, so any movement in the formation of a wave B on the RSI will be supported. Also taking a look at the MACD, on the MACD we have printed a bullish cross, and that would mean her prices could be coming our way, so let's be patient and see how that plays out, and I'll keep you updated.